everyone, and welcome to the Ella One and her My Morning After event. I didn't get my first sex talk till I was in fifth year. I was 17, nearly 18 years of age. Now, I knew, like, all the stuff. Like, I got the book for my parents, but, like, you... <laughs> You, yeah. we, we come from like a very like religious country and I think a lot of that is what's given this like un, what's the word I'm trying to find like unintentional shame towards like unprotected sex and the morning after pill like I think in our back of our minds we're like we know it's fine we know this is okay but we're still going oh my god if someone knew if Mary from up the road saw me going into the pharmacy coming out my little packet like she's definitely going to tell my mother like I'll know this it'll be in mass on Sunday you know yeah. that kind of way yeah. um, and I think that's why there's a lot of still shame around it it's very much just the mindset of a lot of people around I'm walking around Blanchardstown Shopping Centre trying to work out whether I need to get the morning after pill. So I tweet privately this doctor. I was like, hey, I heard you had your baby, congrats. And she's like, oh, thanks so much. And she sends me a picture of her baby next to a magazine that I'm currently on the cover of. And I was like, oh God. I was like, anyway, Ashling, I have a question for you. So I had unprotected sex last night and um, I'm just not sure if I need the morning after pill. And um, here's when I had my last period and in you know, history. And like, he's totally lovely and he treats me really well. Um, and like, <laughs> he, like, he'd totally pay for half it. It's fine, like, I'm not being abused or whatever. And she was like, bottom line, like, you had unprotected sex last night. Get the morning after pill. like before you kind of spoke about anxiety did you kind of battle with that a little bit yourself about whether or not you should share it or was it something that you were like look it's happening to me I want to be honest with this massive following that I have um, to be honest yeah it was something that I wasn't sure should I put out but I I was struggling with it for ages and then I actually started CBT and when I seen the change in myself from doing that I was like holy shit I need to tell everyone about this so that's why I shared it, because I was like, if this is helping me this much, I need to preach this, because it changed my life. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it.